Hello everyone! Welcome to part 3 of our Minecraft series in Scratch. Today we'll be fixing this issue where we can place a block, but we can't really mine them. So we'll start off by first detecting if we can mine a block. Right now, in our when green flag clicks, we have if can place is true. So that means that we can place a block. So if can place is false, then we can't place a block and we can mine a block. Let's drag out if can place is false and we'll be doing almost the exact same thing in our can place is true. In fact, let's right click and duplicate this block and I'll take out the can place is true right here and I'll snap this block in the can place is false. I'll drag out an if then else statement and detect if can place is true. If can place is true, then can mine is false. Let's set can mine to false. But if can place is false, then can mine is true. If that makes any sense, try to wrap your head around that. Then outside of this repeat until loop, let's drag out another can mine is false. So we check if can place is false, and if it is, we set can mine to true, and the opposite way. So now we need to actually get to removing a block. Let's go to my blocks. Let's make a block and we'll call it remove block. I'll press run without screen refresh and press OK. Now this remove block will be doing almost the exact same thing as our can place block. In fact, it's so similar we can right click and duplicate this again. And we'll snap it to our remove block. And this saves a lot of time right here. We will remove this block right here, and this can place is true. We won't be needing these. And first, we need to remove the items from the list. Let's go to variables, and drag out a delete one of blocks. We will be removing i plus one of blocks. I'll duplicate this again, and this time, we'll be removing i of blocks. And then after we deleted the items in the list, let's delete this clone. Okay, now let's find our when I start as a clone block over here. Forever. If can mine is true. And we also need to detect if we are touching the mouse pointer then simply remove block. It's that easy. Okay, let's save our project and make sure to get your popcorn and go into full screen. So let's first try placing a block to see that works. And the drum roll, let's try to delete this block. Boom. So I can now successfully mine blocks as if this is a real Minecraft. And I can also place the blocks back that I have removed. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to stay tuned by subscribing and liking the video for part 4, where we'll be adding player movement and more. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in future episodes.